All right, so the next step I'm going to take on these babies, or this one in particular, um, I just finished Suki and put her in the oven, so she's cooking her white layer of modeling on. Um, Maya's already been through that process, so she's gone and gotten cooked with her white layer, her creamy layer of modeling. So I'm gonna start some of her details next. So I've set aside some paint. I have yellow, I have purple, and I have the, pur the red. And these are the three colors that I will probably ref be referring to in this section. Um, so I will, I think I'm gonna start with a little bit of yellow just so I can get it down first across the bridge of her nose. So with this particular paint, you have one that you actually touch the paint with and then you have one that you blend on the doll with. So this one never touches the wet paint, it only touches the doll. Okay, so with this I'm going to just kind of gently wipe this across the nose. Let's see if I can blend it or zoom in a little bit a little closer. All right, across the nose. And then I'm gonna take my blending sp uh, brush and blend that down across the nose, under the eyes and into the cheeks. This one I haven't decided if I'm going to add another layer of modeling just to make her a little more brown, more tan. And you want to make sure this blends and not has a line where it stops and starts. It just kind of fades naturally without any stopping lines. Alright, so I'm going to set that aside for a minute. While I pull out my purple. I'm going to give her a little bit of purple at the edges of her nose and around the edges of her mouth. Her eyes, sorry. Also, please take care not to cross-contaminate your, your sponge brushes. Never put your yellow and brown. And never put your brown and purple. Never put your purple and yellow, whatever. Just keep them separate. Keep them clean. This adds a little bit of depth to around the nose. I'm using the purple and I'm going to give her a kind of an eyeliner layer. I'm using purple because I don't want her to look like she's been crying, and that's what would happen if I gave her too much red right here. I think something's going on with this eye. It's not sitting completely flush to the front. Um, so I think I'm going to have to pull it back out and see what I can do to maybe cushion it behind it and and position it so it stays firm next to the front of the eye. I'm going to come around her nose. Kind of flip her head over and go up her nose. This is going to help start building depth up her nostrils. I'm 
Alright, I did the bottom eyelid, but now that she's flipped over, I'm going to come in and do the top eyelid. Just those small details are starting to add a fair bit of depth, which really does truly bring her to life and create the realism that we're after. Do a little bit in this big neck crease down here. All these details, it's kind of easy, does it? You build up slowly so that you don't end up going, Whoa, why did I just do that? and regret putting in something. If you go slowly, then you can stop if it gets to be too much. Okay, so now I'm going to finish with the purple, I'm going to pull out some red. This is the bright red color, the color for the modeling, not the maroony purple that's mixed with the, the darker purple, which I use in other babies. This color is going to start some of the blushing for her cheeks. I don't want to go overboard and make it look like she's been smacked or has sunburned, so it's just a nice peachy color that I'm giving our, on our little cheekies. I have a little bit of leftover on my sponge, so I'm going to put some on the tip of her nose. side got a little more than this side so I'm going to come over here and add a little extra just to make them even. A little bit extra on my sponge so I'm going to put it on the, her chin. There's kind of a line that I noticed right here where the red or the pink is fading. Um, I'm going to a little bit on her eyelids. And then blend those in. She's looking really, really cute. We've already did the purple on the inside of her ear, but we're going to give her some pink on the outer. And again, this is the first layer. We don't want to go completely from start to finish in one go. She's getting there. Alright, so now I'm going to put a little bit of this paint on her my lid so it can be a little thicker. So I can add a little bit more red to her lips.
I don't think I'm going to make her lips terribly dark. I just think she looks lovely with a nice pair of like the peaches and cream lips. Nothing too dark or purple. I'm going to add a different color as an additional layer, but it's not going to be red and it's not going to be purple, so we'll come back to that in another step. Um, I'm also going to add her first layer of teeth. Um, and we're going to do that with our cream, the same color that we put on her skin. I'm going to use my detail brush that I have set aside for the creams. What I'm trying to do is get a thick enough layer built up so that I can put it on so it will you can sort of see it but not be like solid thick paint. If you put this on too white, it's gonna look totally fake. So you don't want it to be completely white. That's why I'm using a cream color. This will take a couple of layers to get it to look obviously different than the actual vinyl. But like the whites always do, it will actually dry whiter than it is when it's wet. I'm just taking off any of the pooling so that there isn't a white layer that it just sticks out. Okay. All right, so that's the first facial detail layer. Um, I'm gonna move on and start her fingernails. And for this, we need the red paint again. In fact, I think I'm actually gonna start a new video for this because this one's already getting kind of long. So. Um, I will stop this one here and then I'll pick up in 30 seconds with the next part. So just a second, be right back.